Hey guys, and welcome back to Nuclear Strike. By God, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yes, you may have noticed that uh, videos have been disrupted for the last... Well, at least this week, anyway. Um, reason for that is, uh, I've not been very well. Uh, very lethargic and just, just generally under the weather. Uh, I am slowly coming out of the other side of that now. Um, the only major problem is, I've kind of run out of videos because um, I haven't had time to sit down and record and I'm back into my work rotation uh, tomorrow I've also missed quite a few streams I did stream a little bit yesterday but I wasn't feeling it um, so hopefully videos are going to stabilize next week at some point again as I start building up my my reserves of videos um, and we shall go from there. So apologize for all that stuff guys. I haven't abandoned the channel um, Like hell I would do that But yeah, that is that's what's gone on. Um, I also haven't uh, had time to catch up with my comments. I have just checked them before um, Starting this and my god, there's one or two which I like to see however I will be getting back to all of you uh, after this so Excellent. Anyway, in the last episode, we did take apart a privateering operation, which was a hell of a lot of fun. Now, this level, I used to hate as a kid. And after replaying it, uh, testing it, if you will, um, I don't know why, because it's actually loads of fun and incredibly easy. So, anyway, let's hit it up. Let's continue. Peace Strike. Streets of Pyongyang were unexpectedly deserted as the countdown to the much publicized and unprecedented peace conference continues. The North Korean leader, the enigmatic Kim, will host diplomats from around the world in what until now has been known as the Hermit Kingdom. Check out Kim's bow. The Hermit Kingdom. And Kim talks peace, it's time to lock it low. No sign of the device, Commander. And Kim's people have detained our agents in the northern part of the city. Get on it. Commander, you'll be using a specially modified news chopper for this covert operation. <laughs> Rescue those agents. But remember, you are at maximum risk. Oh, yes. And we're also at maximum vulnerability thanks to this utter piece of shit that we're flying. I think that's why I didn't like this um, mission as much. Pongyang, the heart of the northern Korean capital. The oh, Okay, well, I don't want to read that anyway, game. So, mission the first. Rescue agents. Kim's security forces have arrested local agents. Three Sorok uh, Security Intelligence Republic of Korea agents with close ties to strike are being interrogated in separate security buildings. They have vital information. Use non-lethal methods to rescue them. Well, that's good because we have three weapon systems on this vehicle. Two of those are non-lethal. <sighs> yeah. Kim's security force snatched our three Xerox agents. Their preliminary reports were solid gold. Let's get them back, Commander. I'm posting a bunch of potential detention sites. You have to do some sniffing around because it could get stinky. <laughs> this is a dry off. We'll be flying a civilian helicopter. Do nothing to attract unfriendly attention. Flavors of the month are tear gas and smoke grenades, Chief. If you run into a problem your machine gun can't solve, fly away. Mmm, machine gun. Well, that's generous. Right, so, we're up against S60s, which we've seen these puppies before, I think. This stuff's old and in yeah. Way, but it can get you dead just the same. Remove it before it removes you. Especially in the uh, heap of scrap we're flying. And we also have the T-55s. We've seen those before. We've seen those before. Have we seen the BTR-60 APC? This vehicle has a modified 14.5 heavy millimeter heavy machine gun turret that can take on air targets. Its light armor makes it an easy kill for your chain gun. <laughs> uh, most chain guns, perhaps. But not this uh, pop gun that we have. We've also got the gas skins, and that's pretty much it. Political dissidents. An occasional uh, dissident will brave the streets in defiance of Kim's curfew. And security patrols. Ferry any you find to an LZ. You'll save his life and restore your armor. We've established a covert LZ to protect political dissidents. 
Don't expect the LZ to hang around if the situation gets hot. When they close shop, everything goes. Oh man, this game had such like... It's hard to explain, but the, the atmosphere and everything, uh, the feeling of this game is so good. Anyway, ooh, Cobra. Ooh, she's, she's old, but she's tasty. A USAH 1W uh, uh, Cobra gunship is stored at the War Museum. It is capable of winching up and utilizing all fuel and ammo in the city. Excellent. Yep, the Cobra, sure, she's no Apache, but she's a fine, fine second best. Serious firepower here, Ace. Kim's storing a Cobra gunship at his war museum for all to see. He never dreamed you'd show up and want a test drive. Oh, hell yeah. We want a test drive. Pongyang Airport's home base is an obscure hangar and a pad at the Pongyang Airport. A supply of fuel and ammunition has been provided. Return to the home base when all missions are complete. Those magicians in logistics set up a home base right under Kim's nose. But remember... They can make it disappear. Mm-hmm. Agent Andrea Gray, a GBS newscaster. Andrea has been able to monitor events in and around Kim's palace. Uh, she continues to provide late-breaking intel via Strike Secure Comlink. Andrea makes news as often as she delivers it. We just have to keep her extracurricular activity out of the headlines. She is a vital asset. Keep her alive and she'll do the same for you. Yep, she's certainly one of the best. This is the piece of shit we are rocking right now. GBS News Chopper. Used for GBS News Broadcasts, this AH-6 Night Fox helicopter is only lightly armed and armoured. Speed and maneuverability are its best defences. <laughs> They're its only defences. Well, let's have a look. This news chopper is thin on armour and light on weapons. Smoke grenades and tear gas rockets don't pack much punch, and neither does the burp gun. Since you don't have the muscle, you better use your brain. <laughs> better use your brain. Yeah, get the fuck out of there. Um, yes, I don't like this thing. Your landing zones. Once LZ has been set up in the botanical garden located in the northern sector, watch your SMFD for LZ arrivals and departures. Uh, ammunition, supplies... Actually, do we get a different vi video? Yeah, we do. Why show me the Apache? Like, like, why do that to me? Like, hey, remember this? Remember when you had, like, serious firepower, armor, and maneuverability wrapped up into a, a beautiful package of death? I do remember that, but we don't have that now. So, Huang's info leads strike to the northern Korean capital of Pongyang. The city is the center of world attention. Kim Jong Lee is hosting an unprecedented peace conference whose subject is the reunification of North Korea and South Korea. Several uh, Siroc uh, agents with strike connections have been rounded up and detained by Kim. You're assigned to fly a lightly armed news chopper uh, as a cover vehicle. Until Le Mans is found and his plans determined, Strike cannot assume a military stance. Huang's uh, info leads Strike to the northern Korean capital city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're just repeating that now. Tactical overview. Strike has dispatched Andrea to infiltrate Kim's conference. The GBS news chopper is available at Pongyang Airport. Your first assignment is to recover three Siroc agents being held by North Korean security police. Kim's rounded up all dissidents and suspected foreign agents. He's holding three of our South Korean intelligence operatives. We believe they have vital information. Let's pull them out. Prep for a rescue mission, Hack. Low profile. We got our GBS news chopper standing by at the airport, General. What's the situation on the ground? Scariest thing is what's not happening. I detect no military activity. That's real weird. Hmm. Damn. That is kind of odd, isn't it? One of the most militarized places in the world. Location overview. The capital of North Korea, Pongyang, means large flat field. Huh. The more you know. It's located on the lower Taedong River. Taedong River? 
I don't know. 30 miles from Yellow Sea. The Yellow Sea. King's dictatorial system controls every aspect of life in the city of 3 million. 3 million. Wow. Strange stuff going on. The center of the city looks like a ghost town. Kim's got his people lining the southern highway. Pretty high-end welcome it. I've seen them. They're waving flags and seem very happy about it all. Do they really have a choice? All the dignitaries are gathering in the center of town. They're within the ancient walls that surround Kim's fortress. Fortress? How about jail? Yeah, that's more like it. So, who? Uh, Kim Zong Lee rules one of the poorest nations in Asia, which has been on a permanent war footing since 1950. Kim dreams of a united Korea and has often pledges to <laughs> liberate the South Korean peoples. Uh huh. Psychotic dictators are never more unpredictable than when they publicly sue for peace. What does he really want to? Kim wears platform shoes and keeps his hair in a pompadour. Ideas? Small man complex? Likes disco? Who knows? We should hope for the best and prepare for the worst, Commander. Mm-hmm. Wise counsel indeed, Andrea. Right, let's get this shit show on the road. Okay. Car, baby. Let's do this thing. Yep, this is our little thing. A little ride for the day. Commander, if they die or are compromised, we're finished here. Alright, calm down for God's sakes. Calm down. Now there is a quick ladder. Just up here somewhere. There she is, but we don't want it yet. Ooh, uh, ooh, we'll be made clear a little bit later on. Right, so where are our little friendos? Let's see what we can do to uh, dig these boys out of the fire. Right, um, you know what? Smoke grenade. There we go, smoke grenade through the window. That works. Whoa. Whoa, we're taking some rounds. Jesus. Okay, that was not great. We've learnt something here today. Whoa, fuck my arse and call me Charlie. Okay, do you know what's better than using smoke? Tear gas. Um. Shit. That was not good. I've never... You smoke before like that. Ugh, bloody hell. Tear gas all the way. Kim fronted the money for Lamont's brutal war in Indochine and probably supplied the means to purchase the stolen nuke. Kim's agents have been assisting Lamont all along. Whatever this is, they're in it together. Oh. So there we have it. Kim. Kim's been bankrolling the operation so far. Hmm. Well, half of our armor has literally been dissolved. So that's not good. Yeah, if we use tear gas, it will actually choke these guys out. And I guess that they don't raise the alarm when that happens. Which is nice. Kim is planning to kidnap the dignitaries and transport to going to cross the bridges north of Kim's palace and his military will try to round up the attendees. Was, how does he think he's gonna get away with this? The whole world is watching. Let's not try and work out how a maniac's mind works. Okay, let's kill these guys. Yeah, that's quite cool if you use smoke grenades. Um, shit tons of enemies spawn. Good to know. Let's open this up. This... Yeah, this is armor. We need armor. Kind of feels like a waste winching up armor in this bag of shit, but needs must, I suppose. Back to the tear gas. Wakey, wakey! Eggs and bakey, motherfuckers. And we've got dogs over here as well. 
At least, I think they're dogs. They're either dogs or cows. Hard to say. Let's hose these bastards down. Well, I guess we can leave the dogs alone. It's confirmed. Kim has the bomb. We don't know the whereabouts of the hardware. Hmm. Not good. Not good at all. Well, we've basically done everything we can for now. Let's go grab some uh, dissidents. Just in case. <laughs> You're right there, Andrea. Living the life. Ah, she's fine. She's fine. Oh, hell, we can't. APC time. Yeah, we've got. So, Kim's peace conference is a ruse. Who'd have thought it? He plans to kidnap the foreign dignitaries. Uh, avoid a political hostage situation by stopping all four military transporters before they can enter the conference grounds. Use any means... Ooh. Use any means necessary to block their advance. Yeah, there's actually um, lots of ways you can do this mission. Because, obviously, the... The thing most people will do is just attack them directly, attack the APCs, but we have a couple of options. We're just going to trail this guy. He's not going to fire on us because, after all, we're just a harmless news helicopter. Yes, ignore the rocket pods and machine guns mounted on the side. Also, you can hit these uh, fuel stations. They will go up in a rather spectacular way. And if that's close enough, it will... Uh, do the damage. Right. Well, that's not quite what I wanted to happen, but okay. God damn it. Alright, alright, alright. I think we've kind of bungled that one up. So much easier when I was practicing. Oh man, it's so hard. So hard. To hit these guys. Come on. There we go. It's so incredibly hard to aim at things in this game. We got them. We got them, buddy. We got them. Wow. We've uh, gone quite off the beaten track there. Holy shit. That's fine. It's fine. What's the worst that can happen? Don't answer that. We know what the worst is could happen. We could have a horrible, fiery death. And that's not really high on our list right now. Well, AA guns everywhere. Now, where's the next APC? Ah, oh, man, I really wanted to show off uh, it running into the train. Because uh, that's quite a cool way of doing things. No, don't shoot that. Shoot that. There we go. If it runs into the train, you actually get a bonus. You get a bonus armor pickup. But only if you destroy it uh, using the train. Which is a little bit lame. But, never mind. Oh man, this gun sucks so much cock. Ah, Not worth. Not worth. Yep, not worth. Okay. Now, there is a fuel station down here that he's going to pass. So, that is our opportunity. Uh, well, yeah, it would have been if he didn't, like, drive past the bloody thing. Where are you heading next, pal? Uh, oh, bloody hell. Might just have to do this guy old school. Yep. Let's do this guy old school. I think it's our only way. But these guys have a hundred armor. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why does it always go to shit when you record? Uh, yeah, low armor. We might actually go down here. Yeah, looks like we may well do. Yep, yeah, we're done. That's okay. Uh, 
such an easy level as well. Okay, that's fine. Fourth APC is already on the way. It wouldn't be so bad if you could aim at the enemies. Which, like I said, I didn't have any issues when I did this earlier. We're also almost out of fuel as well. It doesn't matter that we lost a life though. We have plenty. Alright, I think our friend though is going to come in through here. Which is fine. Don't shoot the sign. There we go. Not bad. Let's go scoop up some go juice. Lovely. You got a boss. Stabilized for now. Bloody roaches, honestly. Mmm, does he indeed? Well, we shall soon see about that. Okay. So, what's next? Escort the bus. Ooh. I used to hate this mission as a lad, but it's actually not that bad. In fact, it kind of completes itself for the majority uh, of the mission. Anyway, let's go have a little look. What have we got? We must evacuate the diplomats out of the city. Detonate... Detonation of the nuclear device is imminent. Kim's security is on full alert. Escort a bus of foreign dignitaries through the streets of Pongyang. Get them safe, safely to a French military frigate in the southeast quadrant of the city. I can do that. It's not enough to get these people clear of the bomb, Commander. We've got to keep them out of Kim's reach. French frigate is ready to sail. Andrea, commandeer transportation. Commander, fly escort. Pack. Vector in some Chinooks to the conference area. Let's get this done. Again, again, they show the Apache. Why? Stop teasing me with that carrot, man. Ah, never mind. Ha, look at that. Ooh, you shooting my friend Andrea? I don't think so, buddy. They look quite dapper in blue, to be fair. Bus is under attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I got it. I got it. I'll drive the bus. You fly cover and stay close. I will stay as close as I possibly can, Andrea. Don't do anything stupid now, will you? Nah, she's good. She's good. What happened to Hardin Cash? Why is he not with us? Do we only have him for the last level? I thought we kind of had him for most of it. I am good driver. <laughs> Alright, Bill. Okay, so luckily, Andrea is driving. Sure as hell would rather her at the helm than these idiots. Honestly, children. Really, Andrea? Oh. Would you look at that? I never understood that nuke. I never worked it out what it's supposed to be. It's just like a mess of pixels. But never mind. Let's not split hairs. Apparently it's a nuclear explosive. Oh, we have movement. Oh, I see him. I see him. They are? What are you talking about? Uh, go that way. Let me sort out these guys. These suck quite a lot of ass. And it's because our weapon is so useless. I don't know what's going on with that guy. Buddy, you alright? You good? I think he's good. Come on, buddy, take my lead. Ah, fuck you then. Sodom. Not worth our time. Oh, hello. It's all good. Whoa, he's gone. Whoa, gun. Now, the bus actually has tons of armor, so we don't really have to worry about it. I'm not really sure how. Whoa. How, to be honest, you can get this thing destroyed. Maybe if you're uh, ply playing with your... Eyes shut. Whoa, gun. There she goes. <laughs> I love it. It's so cheap. 
Uh, go for the market. Why not? Go for maximum damage. Run, guys. She's mad. Evil school bus. <laughs> Evil school bus. Yeah, something like that, pal. Something like that. Whoa. Yeah, I don't think we're going to the hotel, Andrea. I think we're going to a frigate. Going for a cruise. Oh, hey, buddy. Hang on. I will be with you when I can. If I can get my guns to actually hit you. Come on. There we go. Oh, hell. Right. Let's get these guys' attention. Yeah, me too. Me too, Andrea. Please stop shooting the bus. Just smoke these guys out. There we are. Somehow smoking them out makes them drive into each other. Don't question it. Come on, guys. Honestly. Uh, can we aim at the enemy, please? Oh, I guess so I guess we can't smoke the boats out. That's a shame. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time down there. Enjoying the mini bar. Oh, as if there was any doubt, Andrea. I mean, honestly. If I can protect a bus in a news chopper, then... I'm quite confident for the future. Ooh, going to the White House for dinner. Why not? Yeah, they kill each other. For now, guys, for now. Come on, Andrea, let's blow this joint. We got shit to do. There's such a foreboding feeling to this level, even with the music. So good. Really? You really gonna ride up to a uh, French frigate? Not that this frigate looks that weaponized, to be honest, but whatever. Come on, Andrea, let's go. Okay. What's our plan now? Even that. Ooh, now you're talking. Finally, we get some firepower. An attack chopper has been located. We've learned of a US Cobra gunship stored at the War Museum. Cover Andrea while she preps the helicopter. Land at the transfer LZ when she is ready. Excellent. That's good. Because we've basically pushed the limit of this thing. Okay, Grand Theft Chopper, I guess. Right, how much armor do we have? Not really enough. We actually need as much armor for this mission as possible. Because you actually have to soak quite a few hits. Which is a little bit cheap. But it's not too bad. As long as we have a good stack of armor, we should be fine. Alright, come here, guys. I'm surprised you're just out in the open like you are. It's kind of brave of you, really. Chopper is full. It only holds four. Wow, I didn't know that. Right, let's get this bass out of here. I'm patched up. I actually didn't need to save anybody, but... Eh. Let's go to the LZ. Get fixed up. Because this thing only has a thousand armor. But it also feels like the armor in... Oh, Christ. Fuck my ass and call me Charlie. Yo. That thing. Yeah, they are lethal. I don't actually know, like, if you can legitimately avoid their missiles. Because they always seem to hit you no matter what. Where the hell is the LZ? I thought it was around here. It is. Cool. Right, let's go get patched up. Mm. 
Luckily, we get 200 armor for each person. So this thing does repair quite quickly, which is one good thing, like the only good thing. Let's load up on ammo as well. I don't know why we want to load up on ammo, but fuck it, why not? Now, back to the Cobra. Kind of a strange name for a helicopter, really, a Cobra, but... Naming a helicopter after a... After a snake. Oh! Avoid! Jink! There we go. One great thing about this thing is its maneuverability. It's bloody lovely. Really can just boost around with no worries. Okay. Let's drop our girl off. There she goes. I'm going in. Yeah. Keep them off me. Uh, we're going to certainly try and keep them off you. Uh, no guarantees. Remember what I'm in. We can take the guys out at least. With our pop gun. <laughs> See everyone run away. I'm not really sure how she bring um, brings that helicopter out. Excellent. Get <laughs> and again, they show us the Apache. Come on, man. Stop teasing a motherfucker. Right, let's go down. Let's go down. Let's go down. Come on. Come on. Land. Land. Come on. Run, you fool. Hopefully, that's not actually damaging our armor. No, it's not. All right, Andrea. Calm down. Oh, so much better. So you have some firepower in this thing. Cobra Intel. Alright, let's go waste this. This thing's quite volatile. <laughs> Who needs a nuke? Right, cool stuff. Oh, look. We've got a wingtip reload there as well. Sweet. Cover the airlift. Evacuate the dignitaries. Strike has sent in two Chinook troop transport helicopters to airlift them to safety. Drop Andrea at the city centre, LZ, and provide air cover for these helicopters. They will be they will be most vulnerable when on the ground. Yes, they will. Okay. We're actually, like, half... Uh, well, we're already through our time together today, ladies and gentlemen. However, we shall finish this next mission. Because it's not too bad. And then we shall call it for today. Right, let's set her down. Alright, what have we got? We've just got grunts, like, honestly. Whoa! We've got so much armor in this thing as well. We have no worries. Ah, tanks, eh? Luckily, we have our wingtip missiles. Beautiful. So much easier in this bird. Although the jinking is nowhere near as uh, as fast. But that's okay. Because this bird can actually take a hit or ten. First load away. Ooh. Yeah, we don't need to worry about the Chinook. Chinook's fine, man. She's all good. Alright, we've got some more chaps coming down. Excellent. These guns need a good test fire. Need to be warmed up. Yum, yum, yum. Grunts for breakfast. I like the way those Chinooks don't actually seem like they're flying. They seem like they're just sliding along the floor. Which amuses me greatly. Good work, Commander. Oh, I think that's because they were. Now they're flying. That's random. Ah, uh, might as well. Do we end it? Escort diplomats. This mission's so short anyway. We'll do this one. Because there's like another bonus bit on the end of this level. But it, it's, mm, it doesn't really justify a video of its own. Because it's not that long, I don't think. So, we'll do another mission. Get the remaining diplomats to the nearest shelter. The Chinooks will not be able to return for another load before the bomb de uh, detonates. Cover Andrea as she escorts the remaining dignitaries to a nearby bomb shelter. When the shelter doors close, winch Andrea up. Oh yeah, we should actually go get our winch thinking about that. 
Evacuation continues. Chopper is away. We still have a handful of diplomats here. No time for return flight, Andrea. Improvise. I'll hurt Improvise. Commander, clear a path. Can't always improvise, my dude. Sometimes you just are shit out of luck. Now, there's a way of making this mission so much easier and faster, which we will cover in a second. Where was the quick ladder? It's over here somewhere. Let's go pick up our nice little ladder. Not sure why they didn't put quick ladders in these things as standard. Whoa, hello. You know what, pal? Fuck you. Um, thank you. Bloody hell. Seriously? Like, honestly, guys. You don't have much chance against this Valkyrie. Come on. Come on. Just duck and weave. We can't outturn this guy, unfortunately. There we go. Bringing these buildings down one at a time. Explosive reconstruction. Um, right, let's head straight back. Our armor's pretty good, so we should be fine. Now, let's see if there's anything that we can scoop up along the way. No. Oh, hello. Naughty little bastard. Get rid of you. Don't want you poking around. Let's touch down. Alright, Andrea. Do your stuff. See, she's pretty good, man. She's pretty reliable. Uh-oh. Incoming hostiles. Oh, hey, guys. Running out in a line. My chain gun likes that. Ah, crap. Hang on. Near a shelter. Yeah, we need... Ah! Oh. <laughs> Andrea is fatally wounded, General. She's out of commission. Get back to the airfield, Commander. This game is over. Whoops! Friendly fire isn't, I guess. Ah, uh, well, I guess we're calling it there after all. When we come back, guys, I will work our way back up to that part. Um, <laughs> and then we'll continue from here. Bugger. Ah, she shouldn't have been there. Her fault, probably. Maybe. Or maybe... Don't fire rockets into crowds of people. Ha. Huh. I think there's a lesson to be learned here. Not quite sure what it is. Maybe it will come to me. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And when we return, we'll be back here. And uh, we'll actually nail this mission. It's so easy. Ah. Oh. It's probably the easiest mission on this um, on this level, to be fair. Not that this level's hard. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.